feels very surreal. On a day like this, on our first day with the suit, I'm exhilarated, I'm excited, a little nervous. It's not really feeling real until right now. And uh, I'm ready to get into it. Now, slowly, Eva, clockwise. Boom! This was during our camera tests for the suit. We were very, very excited. This was right before we started. It got us on the right energy. Being able to see Cholo feel comfortable and enjoying himself. Honestly, this was the day that we felt, okay, this is gonna work. <laughs> With a lot of these superhero movies, you kind of have to think like, what haven't we done before? Blue Beetle is a movie that we're building from the ground up. Good. Yeah, buddy! And I think it's so exciting to get to amalgamate the best parts from Jaime's story in the comics over the years for a fun, good old movie. Oh, yeah! Really, he's the best superhero out there, if I do say so myself. Right, guys, we go, first position. Good energy, guys. Let's start off with a bang. Things is up. Everybody's been working hard. We started at an 11. Oh! Hopefully, this sets the tone. Oh, we're ready to go, boom. Yeah, action! <laughs> Welcome to the set of Blue Vito. Come on in. Let's go. The fact that we're creating the first representation of Blue Beetle out in the world, it's very unique. I never thought this story was gonna be told, but I'm so happy because we've been waiting for it. That's on me, Rudy! I would hate to have not been involved in this project. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Hell yeah, we're doing this thing. Let's party. Blue Beetle started when I got a call from DC Studios. They were like, well, we have this story about Blue Beetle. Are you interested? I'm like, well, I like the character of Blue Beetle. I like the character of Jaime Reyes. And I thought that it was interesting to do something focused on a kid that looks like me, that speaks like me, that comes from a family very close to mine. I've been a really big DC Comics fan for a long time, and I'd gone through so many characters looking for something that felt fresh and new, something that felt a little different. Blue Beetle stood out. Wow! I tried telling him. Jaime Reyes and his character stood out because of his family, the humor, and I just felt like it was exciting for the superhero genre. Whoa. Our story really relates back to the comics in a lot of ways, but also does some new things that people haven't seen before. Okay, let's do this. After hearing the pitch that Garrett had written, I felt like I had the opportunity of telling an origin story that, based on my experiences, could connect with a broader audience. Angel really was able to take this story and bring it to a next level, and Garrett, our writer. The story truly comes from a place of authenticity. I come from a family where storytelling is very important. My grandmother, Carmelita, she was amazing at telling stories. Everybody in my family is amazing at telling stories, and that became a currency. The way I grew up, it's basically the Mexican way of telling stories, smashed with the way Americans told stories. And I think that 100% informed Blue Beetle. It makes sense. One thing that's very special about this Blue Beetle is that it's the third iteration of the Blue Beetle superhero. What makes Blue Beetle a little bit different than other superheroes is that Blue Beetle has changed a lot over time. The Scarab. Someone had it before you. All right, you wanna dance, huh? Now give me a sword. Blue Beetle really becomes a reflection of time, of an American psyche. So Blue Beetle started in 1939 as Dan Garrett. And Dan Garrett was an archeologist who discovers this magic scarab in this Egyptian ruin. 
Dan Garrett was looking through this pharaoh's tomb and the scarab attached to him. Dan Garrett really reflects what people thought was cool back then. The world was becoming smaller. We were unearthing things. As these things came back, there was this fascination with them. And Dan Garrett and magic were a big part of that fascination. So then eventually, Dan Garrett gives way to a new character who's called Ted Gord. Ted Cord was the Blue Beetle? What the hell was Blue Beetle? Ted Cord reflects another American identity that is more suited for its time. A billionaire, this is like Reagan era, everything is extreme. Ted Cord is a very funny guy. Like Superman, but just uh, not as good. Like Jaime says in the movie, Batman, but with ADHD. How come all this stuff, it, it doesn't look uh, less ridiculous? He was never able to harness the powers of the Scarab, so instead he made his own gizmos and gadgets to emulate that of the Scarab. What's interesting and beautiful about those comics with Ted Cord is that's the first time they start to really imprint a sense of humor. It really was in those Ted Cord comics that I discovered a great possibility for a tone for the movie. And then later on, this guy Jaime Reyes shows up. Ah, hey. Hi! The is here! Hi! Hi. Nice to meet you. Our Blue Beetle is a Latino teenager called Jaime Reyes. We're basing it off Jaime Reyes' origin story out of the 2006 comics. He's a guy who represents everything that's amazing about Mexico and everything that's amazing about America. If Ted Cord was America in the 80s, Jaime Reyes is America today. See you. Something that I admire so much about Jaime is that he's so selfless. You know, he's not like Superman where everything's perfect and he's the man's man. He's coming into his adulthood and sometimes it goes well and sometimes he falls on his face. How did you get it to do that? I don't know. Acquired.